simple. It's a fun recipe. It, it really um, highlights many of the products um, and that people get to use hands-on. And then it uses the Quick Chef Pro, which comes in our opportunity kit. So you're able to, to really highlight a main product and give that new recruit something that they could go use as well. So you could use this as a recruiting event all on its own. Or what you can do is kind of piggyback into where um, you have a host, you already have a party set up, and what you do is you ask your host to have a little happy hour right before her party. Um, you just need about 10 to 15 minutes before her party. So if you need 10 to 15 minutes, ask for 20. And what you do is you would ask her to invite four to five guests to come early to a special event, a special happy hour before her party. Um, it's not the happy hour like drinking, <laughs> although that could, that, I mean, we could do that. Um, but it's a, it's a special event where you're going to um, present something special to those guests, and there's going to be a special thing for them. And that's really all you say. Um, I have a gift for you if you would um, be interested in doing what I, what I um, call my happy hour, and it's where you invite just four to five guests to come early. This is a special, exclusive event just for them. They're going to get a free gift for coming early. And um, for you, I'll also give you a free gift when you host one of my happy hours. So after you've dated the party, this is something that you would offer. And what you're going to do is you're going to make salsa. And each ingredient of the salsa is going to represent a particular part of our Tupperware business. All right, so um, who's a guest that's here tonight? <laughs> she just said, raise your hand. <laughs> that big bus just rolled right over you. <laughs> OK, come on up here. What's your name? Let's hear it for Becky. Yay! Thank you. All right, so bling, Becky bling. is a guest checking us out tonight, and we thank her for that. And um, she can come on up here, too. <laughs> we're the barrier, whatever. All right, so we're going to be making um, salsa. And um, what I'm like, the, like um, Diane mentioned is having the guests use the, the um, products is fantastic because you want to know what it feels like. You want to know everything about it. I want to <laughs> no, it doesn't fit in your purse. <laughs> Watch the door, ladies. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start with our Quick Chef Pro. And this is one of the main products that comes in our opportunity kit. So if you ever did decide to join Tupperware and check us out, this is something that would um, come in your kit. It's called our Quick Chef Pro. It's a non-electric food processor. So that means it's going to chop your fruits, your vegetables. Anything you really want to chop, it chops nuts. It shreds chicken. It, um, it is fantastic. It's, it's the handy tool in your house that you will use for everything. <laughs> That's great. So take it apart. So when you take the, the cover off, don't touch the blade. Touch the centerpiece. She just grabbed the blade and wiggle. <laughs> All right. All right. So that, you can see that centerpiece comes out, and that has three different blades. And you'll see that one of those blades, see the two blades right there? They have a little bend to them. What that does is as the food gets chopped, it not only chops it, but it also brings it back into the center, so it mixes it as, as well as chopping it. That means when you're making chicken salad, you can just dump all the ingredients in there, turn the handle, it's going to blend it and chop it all at the same time. Fantastic, right? So yes? yes? Yes. Also, in your electric food processors, when you remove the blade, what's, what's there? A big gaping hole for all the food that you just mixed up to fall right into. This is a completely sealed unit. It also comes with a seal, so whenever you're done preparing salsa, chicken salad, whatever mix you want, you, there's a microwavable container, so you can heat your salsa, your dip, whatever you're making. Spinach, uh, spinach artichoke dip is fantastic in there. Put the seal on here, put it in your refrigerator. Did, you didn't have to get another container out to store it in, so it keeps, it, um, keeps your hands extra soft and not having to wash too much. Another accessory that we have, this is our little... Um, <laughs> This is our little, um, what's this, paddle. blender, <laughs> paddle, whipple snapper, yeah. You can take the blade out and put this in. You know when you're making sour cream dips that you want to add different seasonings to? Um, you can even put eggs in here and put your ingredients and you can um, whip up your eggs if you want to add a little air to them to have a, a little yummy omelet. So that's what this is for. And what's nice about this is this bottom piece is um, flat against the bottom so you don't have just the top getting stirred. It really scoops everything in and, and the, the bottom as well. And the last accessory that goes to it, this is our funnel. That's what this little opening right here is for. You put the funnel in here. Sometimes when you're making different um, ingredients, maybe even like a pesto, you want you chop up all, you chop up your basil and your um, garlic and all those great things, and then you need to add your oil. Well, you don't want to have to take the cover off. You can just add the oil and turn the handle all at the same time. 
Another added feature, look real close right there for me, Becky. You can see there's measurements there. That allows you to measure, not have to get out a separate measuring spoon um, to measure what you want to put in there. And whenever you have it, I don't know if you can see, but look down in there. One way, one way it's closed, and then if, whenever you turn it, it dispenses it, it opens it up. So you turn it, it opens up, it dispenses it. So when it's sealed, <laughs> she's ready to take mine home. Lock that door. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> it's all right, we're going ahead. All right, so I think it's time to make some salsa. Would you agree? All right. So this is a fun, fun recipe. Go ahead and take the cover off. And we're going to add the first ingredient, which is our onion. And it is in the um, forget-me-not container. So go ahead and pick that up. This is one of those containers that you hang on your refrigerator shelf. And um, it, you can put half of an onion, lemon, lime, orange, grapefruit, tomato, avocado, you name it. And go ahead and put that in there. Go ahead and put the whole thing. In fact, the onion is what is represents in our business, our Tupperware business, if you decide to try us. There's so many layers of our business, just like the layers of an onion. Um, you can do fundraising, online parties, you can um, sell to your friends and family, you can host parties. Um, there's so many different opportunities you have, just like the layers of the onion to, that's in our business. So go ahead and put the cover on. The other thing you're going to find that's nice about the Quick Chef is that you're able to chop it to whatever consistency you want. So exactly, hold down with your left hand, with the right hand, just turn it. You're not, don't feel like you're going to hurt it, rock it back and forth and get it going. The bottom has a non-skid. It's not broken. Just kidding. <laughs> Just go for it. You I mean, won't hurt it. It's not moving. It's hard on plastic. Here, I'll start it for you. The bottom has a non-skid surface so that whenever you're not on plastic and you're on your counter, it doesn't get all, uh, it doesn't scoot around. Here, you go ahead. All right, just rock it back and forth. We took an onion and cut it in half just so you can see that it will take a, two halves of an onion and it will get it down to little bitty bitty onions. You can stop right now if you wanted it to be chunky onions, but we don't. We want it real small. So keep chop, 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 chopping. You can turn to the right. You can turn to the left. When you turn to the right, it chops. When you turn to the left, it stirs it for you. So it stirs it around. Set it and forget it. It chops. It dices. <laughs> okay, so now take a look. You can just hold it up or look at it. Oh, Say ooh-ah. Oh, I'm crying. Ooh, ah. So could you imagine sitting there with a knife and a cutting board and chopping up all of those onions? It would take forever, wouldn't it? All right, so go ahead and put the cover back on because that's a really strong onion. <laughs> all right, and what was your name? Irma Linda. Irma Linda. That's right. That's right, Irma Linda. Well, we're going to let Irma Linda open up our can of diced tomatoes. That's the next ingredient that you stand right here for me. Stand there and look pretty for me. All right, so we're going to use our um, can opener. Have you ever used our can opener before? Okay, fantastic. All you do is um, hold the handle and open up the handle of the can opener. There you go, good. And this is, you're going to lay it flat on top of the can. It doesn't go on the side. And what you're going to do is, whenever you open it up, there's two little discs that opened up right there. You want to set the rim of the, contain, of the can right between those two discs and close the handle. Close the handle. Okay, now pick up the handle. You can take your take this this hand off. Now pick up that. See how it's locked on? That lets you know you did it right. Wow. It's locked in place. Now all you do is you turn this to the right. So turn, turn, turn. You can pick it up, fold it, whatever you want to do. So tomatoes, tomatoes. What color are tomatoes? Red. 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 Do you ever find that with, at the end of the month your checking account is red? It's got that big negative, and you're like, oh no. Well, that is something where Tupperware, just keep turning it around. No, you, she said it's not cutting. Okay, I'm going to tell you about it in just, just a second. Cut. Let me tell you about red tomatoes. You're good. You can stop right there. But don't do anything. Just hang on tight to it. Um, if you're ever in the red and you're thinking, you know what, I need a little bit more money. I need just a little bit more. You know that they say the average family is losing their home to, for, to foreclosure for just two to $400 a month. Just two to $400 a month. That's it. That's the average family. So if you ever find you're in the red and you need some more money, Give Tupperware a try. What do you have to lose? Give us a try. Hold, the average consultant in the United States, and Houston's a little bit higher, but let's just say the average consultant in the United States, if they just happen to fall into a party and they get a group of ladies together, they're going to make on average $100. Mm -hmm. So could you imagine two hours of work, $100? It's legal to make that money. That money. <laughs> All right, so now what you're going to do is you're going to open up the handles just like you did the first time. It's going to release it from the can. <laughs> 
what we've done is, um, she's right, it wasn't cutting anything because this doesn't, this can <laughs> opener doesn't cut anything at all. What it does is it uncrimps the can that's been crimped on. So when cans are put together, they put some glue, they put the, the, the cover on it, and then they crimp it. So this can opener uncrimps it, so there's no sharp blades, no one's going to get cut. And you'll see when we take it off, a lot of times when you take the lid off, you'll see like the little strings of glue that we're holding on. Other, other things that happen is whenever you um, cut into, you cut into a um, can opener with a, with a metal cutter, you know, like a regular can opener, those metal shavings can get into your food. You don't want that to happen either. All right, so this is the funnest part. See this little, this little part right here? That's the lid remover. Open up the handles again and put just that little part on top. Close the handles. Now hold onto the can with your left hand, or whichever hand, and pull up. Oh. 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 <laughs> now what's great about that is, or Melinda, you could go right to the trash can, now look, now just open the handles. You never ever had to touch it. Even if you wanted to, it doesn't matter because there's no sharp edges. Judy's shown there's no sharp edges. Slice, slice your hand. <laughs> So no sharp edges, nothing at all. All right, so now it's your turn to pour the can of diced tomatoes. So, so far we chopped up an onion. You could even do, if your family doesn't like onions, super, super oniony, you could just do half of an onion if you wanted to. All right, so now we have our onion. The next thing we want to add is our seasoning. And we have in that spice shaker, we have our Southwest Chipotle seasoning. Open up one side's a shaker, one side's a scooper. Open up the scooper side and just pour a little in there. I'll tell you when to stop. <laughs> a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Now the Southwest Chipotle, a little bit more. Yeah, a little more, a little more. Yeah, a little, no, this guy. <laughs> All right, the Southwest Chipotle seasoning is, it's a mild pepper seasoning. It's not super, super spicy hot. It's not going to burn you. It adds a lot of flavor. You can mix it with sour cream, and it makes a great dip. You can sprinkle it on chicken. Um, but what I want you to remember about this, the Southwest Chipotle seasoning is that it's the spicy, the spiciness, the little spicy extras that you add to our Tupperware business. You know, it's, that, it's the opportunity for you to be able to do more and to make more and to spice things up in your life, to add more to your family. You know, if you ever have that time where you're like, I really wish I could take my family on vacations with your Tupperware business, you can do that. Think about that spice. Adding, going to go into another country and experimenting and, and, and indulging in all those great activities that you could um, with other cultures. So that's our little spiciness there. All right, so we're going to bring Becky back in. You can do, you're doing great. Give her a round of applause. Yes. Stay here with us. All right. Um, now the other thing we need to add to kind of finish this off is we need to add our garlic, and that is just it's already minced up for you. So just take that off, that's in our little midget container, pour that in there, and then we're going to squeeze some lime juice in there. You can put whole cloves of garlic and chop it up with your onion if you want to as well. All right, so um, this is our lemon lime press. That's close enough. Becky, you got this down. You got it. All right, so open that up. That's our lemon lime press. There's, this is um, plastic, so it's not made out of metal. And do you see the way that Becky's put it in there? That is exactly how you want to put it in there. Skin side up. And what's going to happen is when she presses that together, it's going to invert it. <laughs> so, <Yay! later> <laughs> you guys are a good team. I like this. <laughs> All right, so go ahead and squeeze it. What's great about this is it gets out every, every drop of juice. I mean, when you think, oh, there's not much in here, and you put it in there, and you're like, oh, my gosh, that much, juice, that much juice came out of there? Go ahead and do both halves of it. Sometimes I do a half, sometimes I do a whole. Um, what I, the lime... Let me tell you what it represents in our Tupperware business. <laughs> exactly. She said margaritas. Fun. That's exactly what I think of whenever I think of a line is a margarita. And it's the party. We party for a living. It's fun. Um, it's also green and represents that Tupperware is definitely going green. We are going to prevent you from ever buying baggies and um, Ziploc baggies and all that other junk that we put in our house. You won't have to buy any of that. Water bottles. Green for money. She's a, just... I mean, seriously. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. All right, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so do you guys like that lemon lime press? It's yes. awesome. Okay, so put the cover back on, and then you turn for a while, Becky, and then we'll let Ermelinda turn it for a little bit. Other things that you can put in there, you can always add a little jalapeno to it. You can add a little cilantro, um, some fun things like that, whatever you want to add to your salsa. 
um, to make it personalized to you. And that's what our Tupperware business does. All those little extras that you can do.